Hey guys, my name is Asawi Sword Machinery. As we know, in the process of producing stainless steel, a lot of slag will be produced too. But did you know that a slag could earn you more than 10,000 US dollars an hour if you can recycle the metal in it? So, on today's video, I'd like to share with you how to recover nickel-line alloy from them. Come with me. This time, the sample block is small, and the customer said that they had ground the material previously. It's a best practice because the slug is brittle and easy to be crushed, but the metal particles in it are too hard to be crushed. So we can separate them by the grinding action. After grinding, we need to sieve the material. In the lab, we use a screen size of 3 mm to fit the slab into the jig machine. Well, my engineer is doing some preparatory work on the experiment. This is our experimental equipment and we use this machine later on to process assembly. Okay, now what you see in the video is a key step. The jig is the key equipment of the whole process. But the deciding factor for the success is the engineer's operating master and tech. What we need to achieve is to separate the slug from the metal. To achieve the goal, we need to change their trajectory. In water, the material is subject to two main external effects. A longitudinal current that flows horizontally forward and a current that flows perpendicular to the horizon under the action of vertical water flow due to the difference of density. Heavy material for fast but light material for growth. Finally, at the upward the light material of discharge is the vertical water flow and the heavy material of sun at the bottom. We put a container beside the orbit, which is the jet rejects. We take another container and go underneath the jig to get some heavy material. Now, let's see if this is the result we want. We can clearly see that these are all the different metals that we want. Do you know how much metal we get from this experiment? Then please share your opinion in the comment section. Okay, this is Asa. See you next time.